Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you what to do with a pineapple. Now, I know there's all kinds of ways to cut them up, and if you've got your own preference and you do it already, don't even bother watching this. Uh, this is for people that, you know, would like to eat pineapple, but they're not exactly sure what to do, or they bought it once and botched it, and now they just said, oh well, I'll just use canned. But fresh is so much better. So, as they say, you know, you need the right tool for the right job. And this is a pineapple core. If you've seen this, um, you know, in a kitchen gadget store and wondered, you know, what it was, like some kind of messed up, you know, corkscrew or something like that. No, it's actually for these things. Now, since it's this big, I always buy uh, the medium pineapples, because if you get the big pineapples, uh, they're too wide and you're going to waste a lot of it for nothing. And usually what I do is I, I buy one uh, pre-cored and chopped up in the store and then I just keep the container and wash it after to put these in. So first thing you're going to want to do is get a little cutting board and a cleaver. So cut off the end with the uh, green stuff in the tag. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, when you're choosing uh, a pineapple, don't get one that's green. You want one that has got some yellow on it, but has not gone completely yellow, because if it is, it's overripe, and it's going to go bad on you pretty quick. Make a cut close to the bottom. As you can see, yeah, this one's quite ripe, but I eat so much of this these days, it's not going to go bad. Then, put on the bottom end, get your core. Now for this you want to eyeball it, I'll zoom in a bit more here. You want to basically eyeball it so the core just goes over the top, okay? Press it down, and I'll come back out here. A little upper body strength does not hurt at all here. So grip your pineapple with one hand and push down with the other and just twist until you get right down to the bottom. You can hear it or it'll move. And then just pull it straight out and that's what's left that you're going to throw out. Now to get this out nice and simple and I will take a second to mop that up. Yeah it's convenient you can just pick it up like that and mop your cutting board without even having to do anything. So once that's mopped up and you've got some room what you do is just pinch it on the sides, take the handle off, turn it over, okay, and pull off your pineapple. Now you've got your core here that you can just push out and it will come straight out, that you discard as well. And you got your finished pineapple here ready to go. And then all you do is just cut it into segments that you want. I usually like it about this big. Yeah, and this can start falling all over the place, so I kind of pick it up as I go there. And just put it in your container and you're done. So that's how I do pineapple. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you again.